Hello everyone and welcome to FB3. This is our very first episode and the girls and I have been really excited about this night. We got some really great Facebook gossip and we can't wait to dish it out. Exactly. So we're going to get right into it. First topic of the night, we're going to talk about Bristol and Levi because this whole engagement thing is absolutely ridiculous. It's she went to Us Magazine. False. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. She went to Us Magazine, didn't even tell her family about it. This is a guy who totally left her and the baby for the last year. The tool Trashed bag. Sarah Palin, the family. Did Playgirl. Who does Playgirl these days anymore? I thought only... <laughs> I didn't know it right? existed. I mean, like, I, <laughs> straight guys still do Playgirl? I don't know. Anyway, I just think it's really, really odd that suddenly when his whole limelight starts to fade, he suddenly decides to get on one knee and propose to Bristol. Exactly. And, and he does it, and I, I will give him credit. Let's, it was very romantic. The way she described it was very, very romantic. Of course. But, but he's also been talking about for a year now wanting to do a reality show, and apparently publicity gonna, stunt. Yeah, yeah. Oh publicity guys, stunt. Let's think about the kid, okay? Okay. What about the kid? What about the when baby? Sh- that baby grows up. Wouldn't you want two parents there? For um, yes. yelling obviously. and fighting so and be dysfunctional. Let's show the child what real love is: screaming and everyone wishing you still had your youth. And everyone has little. Bad <laughs> but, yeah, but let's be real. Seriously. Okay. All right. What, the poor let, kid. Like, yeah, he's in publicity the, the, his whole life. He doesn't right. know what's going on. Yeah. And then finally, they're getting back together. Like, what's wrong with that? His whole life right? is a year this old. Is, he won't is, remember this. See, yeah. There's still time to give there's him a magazines. normal childhood. There's all this newspaper stuff. There's that he won't about, remember ever. Well, how old okay. is he? <laughs> this this how old is he? Be, because the baby's a palin, he's probably to some degree always going to have some sort of media attention or surrounded around him. But what so we're why really not have a normal is, life at home instead of two teenage parents, one who's not even in it to win it, rather yeah. for his career, yeah. and to have them fighting and okay. not even be real. That's no. horrible. What if he really just wants? Okay, say like none of us really want to be on a reality TV show. Please, like we all, like that would be fun. It would be fun. <laughs> and plus, plus his mom is doing, um, or yeah, his mom's doing the Bristol? sweet life of, Who's I mean, mom? no, no. What's it? The teenager? The, the MTV what? one? The, who's doing that show? The Sweet Life of, uh, or the uh, Sweet Bristol. Sixteen? Um, oh. That mom show. Yeah, the teen, American teen, Teenager. Yeah, American Life that of Teenager. Oh, okay. So Which like, is totally different. She, that's that's like a sitcom. That's like an actual, like a scripted television matter. They're show. They're still on TV, whatever. So, so okay, both of the parents are using their child no, and that one connection. The child. Because they want to be famous. Would you be able to marry a, a guy who completely trashed your family, okay, left you and your kid for over a year, and and suddenly he's coming back to you? He's she still the baby's dad. She's she still didn't, the baby's She didn't even make him mean he's grovel. Right. He didn't even have to work for it. And, she, okay, he, since he they broke up. text message and put rose no. petals on the ground, and she's like, sure, I'll take you back. Screw the romance. I'm okay. talking about that. They are too young. Obviously, it's a publicity stunt. They have a kid. And Who cares if they're young? So do a lot of people. So do a lot of people have children, but there is a 52% divorce rate. Yes. And they need to realize that just because you break up and you realize you want to be back together doesn't mean you have to get engaged. I think that is very childish, which reflects their age. Yeah. How old are they? Yeah. Young. They're like and 17. Yes, I don't think it's right. I think if you want to give your kid a normal life, make They're sure never, first he's never going to be normal. So outside of the home, how about, his how about, mom, the, his grandma, Sarah Palin. You know that what? Kid, that you know what? I feel bad. Kid is the never going to be normal. The kid is screwed anyway because his dad did Playgirl. Yeah. So a more uplifting story on Facebook. Okay, so people use Facebook to make up, to break up to hook up to absolutely everything. And actually this woman from Pennsylvania, she found a donor, a kidney donor on wow. Facebook. So I guess she That's outreached, awesome. she sent messages. She, I don't know if she did a group, right. I don't know how these people heard about this group and hundreds of people, doctors, people who would like to donate and families and friends of these people mm-hmm. responded to her and she got a kidney. She just recently had the awesome. um, surgery and she's doing very well, thankfully. Fantastic. And the only thing is, I don't know how I feel about this because I feel as though it's kind of unfair. There are people that have been on the list for years. Right. Okay, but what if it was your sister? Let's yeah. keep it real. Let's what keep are you it real. Saying? Like, like, when you're when you're yeah. like almost near death, I'm pretty you're sure you pull out all the stops, you take whatever desperate measures you absolutely need absolutely. to. And if somebody has access to something like Facebook or the internet, which is a very powerful tool for connecting people, why not? do it. Yeah. And I get it. There are people that have been listed no, no, no. on Let's list for a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why wouldn't you do that? 
What do you mean? No, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. I'm saying I just think it's kind of unfair for the people that have been on lists. And just because this woman had Facebook, because she had this kind of technology, and other people who are technologically Where impaired. Where are these people living is what I want to know. Under like rocks. If if they, yeah, they don't have Facebook. But, yeah, I was just saying, <laughs> who does a library? Have these days you know, it's free. Okay, maybe. Yeah, the library. I'll, I'll give it to you. Like, like, I'll why give it to you the library is that anymore. this mm. woman is smart. I mean, I'm sure not. She was probably one of the first people who right. to think of this. But I mean, at least I'm hoping that at least she shared this knowledge and was just like, hey, I found a kidney on Facebook and passed it on. And so these other people, <laughs> like, told the people in hospitals. I just think it's kind of unfair. The fact that we're talking yeah. about it is because it was on news somewhere. So now that it's already on some sort of media okay. like that, right? You know, there's probably a lot of people now that are hearing about this. And I guarantee if you go on Facebook right now and do search work for donors, you're going to find all kinds of stuff. For that one person that she jumped ahead of and got a kidney rather than going through the legal, I guess it's not really legal. Well, I don't know. But Survival the of the fair fittest. way. Yeah, absolutely. Right? You got to like you gotta fight for everything in life. You got to fight for fitness. that kidney. <laughs> Fight for it, find it on Facebook. I don't know. I, by the way, are you guys marked to be donors on your license? Yes, I am too. Um, this lady, mm -hmm. Amy Sword, mm -hmm. she wanted to find her biological son because <gasps> she had a baby. I read about this. Yeah, she had a baby when she was younger and couldn't take care of it, so she okay. gave it away for adoption. He has a great family, whatever. So found um, him on Facebook. Wow. And Go they Facebook. reconnected. They're together. They hang out. But... The mom found out in her, something clicked in her head or something, okay. that she's not just in love with her for, or in love with him for like son, right. but it's like not a more mom, a boyfriend, girlfriend. Like romantic? romantic? Wait, wasn't he 14? He's 16. No, I think he was 14. When it first started happening, he was 14 uh, years 16. old? 14. Anyways, okay. they, um, <laughs> this is just one big she hot mess. She actually started having sex with him. I yeah. Okay. Um, I don't understand. First of all, first of all, um, how that actually happens. I mean, this is like an incestual thing that went on for a couple of years. I want to know. If I'm not mistaken, because I, I I read a little bit about this. Yeah. Didn't he end up go telling a counselor at school about what was going finally, on? Finally, after that's how, that she got how she got caught. After three years, he finally went to school counselor and was like, "Yeah, I don't think my mom's supposed to be like touching." You know what? I don't I think, think my mom's I think supposed he wanted to, to touch break my up with her, and he didn't know how to do it. <laughs> And he was too much of a pee to like do it in her face. And he was like, I'll just go tell my counselors. Or do you think it was just natural? And then she'll get in trouble. And then we won't be able to be together. And then she'll go to jail. And then she'll start tapping this new ass right here. Oh my God. His mom is having. What? Wait, wasn't his mom married? His mom is married. She. So he's not going to break up with her? No, that's what I'm making a joke, Allie. I'm making a joke. What I'm trying to say is maybe he didn't want to hook up with the mom anymore. And he didn't know how to tell her. I really don't want to be going there with but you get anymore. This, get this. And the, he's a kid, and he didn't know how to do it. He his, went to the council. She his got in adopted trouble. parents knew about this affair. Wait, so did she get in trouble? Okay, did, are they? She got in trouble, trouble, didn't she? She got sentenced um, to thirty years in prison. La actually, this Thursday. That's a little harsh, though, isn't it? Um, I mean, I'm not condoning thirty. Okay, I would say <laughs> it should be higher. With your kid. You think it should be higher? Years? I think it she should be younger. Okay. She no. made the kid and then she does not have sex with him. Okay, <laughs> like, first of all, I've heard of stories <laughs> where men, pedophile men, they yeah. have intercourse with these young girls. And I, maybe I'm ignorant towards this, but I heard it's a, a lower sentence. Why is she getting 30? Yeah. You don't think that's I mean, a little I think harsh? That it's pretty sexist. I would agree with that. But I think those See, numbers I, should go right I, up. I, I thought Everyone, that. I think the, bio, or the adopted parents should go to jail too. That's what I'm saying. I don't, if, if Wait, knew why? was going on, how in the they world could they possibly that, condone it? This whole Wait, are you sure they didn't know? Are you sure they didn't just know that, okay, oh, our son found his biological mother. Yes. And they're spending and quality but then, time together. Maybe they're just like, good, they're bonding. We want to thank everyone for watching. We had a great time, and we hope you did too. Be sure to tune in same time, same place, Friday, 7 o'clock, for more FB3 news. And, of course, show us some love. Keyword search FB News TV. And make sure you're pressing that like button on the Facebook News Television fan page. And if you agree or disagree on anything we talked about tonight, don't be afraid to go to the FB3 discussion board and leave a comment. Say anything you'd like. That's right. Peace out, guys. Have yeah. a good night. Bye. See you next Friday.